Yo, what is going on, guys? Time Stopper here, coming back at you another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, in this video, we are talking about the Heroes Path, Path of Light, whatever they change the name to. They probably should just call it the Path of Scams, because this thing is terrible. You guys know that I'm normally pretty positive and I try to find the little bits and pieces and nuggets you can take away from stuff, but I gotta be honest, no matter which path you take on this thing, it is a bad, bad idea for you, and I'm gonna tell you why. So let's jump into the video. Okay, so first and foremost, let's talk about this new Hero's Path. You know, they said that all these things were going to fall under the name Hero's Path, and the last one was going to be called Path of Light because of the summer solstice, and this one just doesn't even have a name, but I'm telling you, I'm going to call it the Scam Path because no matter how I break this down, it just looks like a scam to make you use up all of your resources right before a personal reward CVC. No matter how I cut this out, I cannot make it make sense for any player to go after any of these resources. Even as a free-to-play player, it makes almost no sense. So let's take a look at what I'm looking at first. So if we go over here into the events, we can go to Hero's Path. Now we can see that this is the new Hero's Path. It's a little bit bigger path than they had the last time. A couple different ways, crossover points and things like that that you can go through and things like that, right? So each one of these paths you can pick. So if I choose to go here, I can go all the way down here. If I choose here, I can go down through here. And you ultimately end up at the bottom, which look like great rewards. Now, how do you get those? So the last time we did this, it was basically a dungeon divers and an artifact enhancement event rolled up into one. This is basically just a champ training event when you look at it at its basic core. Some could say it's kind of like a dungeon divers, but... I would argue because the truth is that to maximize your points, you're probably going to need to do champ training on this. Because if we look at how we're going to get points on this one, we're going to click the thing. All this up here doesn't really matter. Down here is what we're looking for. We're looking at how we earn these coins, right? So we can see that if we level up and rank up champions based on what rank they are, how many levels we get them, how many rank upgrades, it's going to show us how many points they have. Now, the Get Artifacts and Accessories, this is basically kind of like a Dungeon Divers event, if you will. These points did not change from the last event. So I don't know if that's good or bad since you need way more points this time around in order to kind of accomplish everything that you need to in here. So you can see that as you go up, the bigger the artifact is, the more, you know, the more rare it is, the more points you're going to get, et cetera, et cetera. So in theory, you could get this done just running dungeons, right? This is only a four-day event, though. So it started on Friday. It's running Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We do know that on Sunday, we're supposed to get a 2x event for Savage Gear in the Fire Knight. So some people may want to run that and obviously get some benefit here. But for most people, this is just a champ training event because champ training is going to give you points up here and it's going to give you the points down below because you're going to be dropping artifacts as you go. Now, why do I think that this is such a scam? So let's talk a little bit about the points required and what you have to do to get the different things. See, last time we did this, it was super easy. You just went down a path, you picked a path that you wanted to go on, and as you went down the path, you picked up rewards, and then you could get the item at the end. So it wasn't nearly as bad, plus they started you off with some. So here, it looks like this is a great thing, right? I can get a Sacred Shard. But what you're not realizing is the paths that you have to pick in order to get there and how many points it's going to cost you. Now, it's kind of hard to see on here, so we're going to switch over to my ultimately most favorite tool that has ever been invented. You got it, paint, right? So on here, I've basically just copied over everything that we have here, and we can take a look at what is the most cost-effective way to go down through these to get points. Now, if you're trying to do this, just the lowest amount of points possible, right? Let's say you really want to go after that sacred shard and you want to go after the least amount of points possible to get there, right? So that means that you're going to have to come down through and we can see that the least expensive path, right, would be for you to come down, path starts up here, would be for you to come down this way, grab this one up, 
grab this up, right? And then looking at how much it's going to cost you, you can't take the cheaper path here. You have to go down the right side because you need this key. Because if you notice, this is locked by two keys. And it just so happens that both keys are buried behind the more expensive route on both sides. So you'd basically have to come down through here, come down to here, and then you can pick up this key, right? And then on the other side, again, cheapest route, you'd have to come down through here, come down here, right? You have to go this way to pick this one up, okay? Then you can double back, right? Don't think you're going after this legendary book. Oh, no. Don't think you're going after this five-star chicken. Oh, no. You've got to come back up here and go back down through this route, which is going to be the quickest route to get to this sacred shard at the bottom. Now, you're like, come on, bro. It can't be that bad, right? You've got to be over-exaggerating a little bit, if nothing else. No, I told you this was the scam path. There is no way to make this even remotely good. Let's say, for example, you know what? You're like, man, I don't even want to go after that sacred. Let me just go after this legendary book or this chicken. Okay, great. What's the cheapest path to get to them, right? Let's go back. So the cheapest path to get to the legendary book is to go this way, right? Well, we can't go over here because we can see that this ore costs 5000 So we'd have to go this way, down the path, to get this legendary book. No chance of getting that key, right? So if you're after the legendary book and you're like, after that, you're like, hey, maybe I should go after that sacred shard. That means you have to come back and do all of this all over again, right? Same exact thing happens on the other side. Let's say you go down through here. Now on this side, ironically enough, this is actually a cheaper route to come down through here to get to the five-star chicken if you really wanted to versus coming down straight through here. Not sure why they quite did it that way, but it does look like it's going to be cheaper that way, right? But that only gives you one of the keys. To get the other key, you'd still have to go through here. So you're kind of hosed there. Either way, these cost a bunch. So let's figure out how much work you're going to have to put in in order to get any of these resources and decide whether it's worth it. Now, I'm probably going to get roasted in the comments on this because I did some super quick math. I didn't do like HG Centi math, okay? I did Time Stopper math. And with Time Stopper math, we do stuff super quick. So what I did was I went and I said, okay, I'm going to run 12-3 Brutal. I'm going to run four star champs to max, okay? I've got the double XP boost on. That's it. No raid pass, no nothing else, right? So when I started out, I started out with 5,312 points, 656 energy. I ended at 67, 14 points, and 240 energy. That means I spent 416 energy to get 1,402 points. You're like, time stopper, bro. That's not even remotely enough data to, to make any kind of conclusion. We need more. Okay, no problem. I got you. I did it a second time. For you. Not for me, because I definitely did not need to train these stupid champs up, okay? So, started out with 1,290 energy, ended at 874, 416 energy, checks out just like before. Points, started at 7,064, ended at 8,435, difference of 1,371. Got even less points, less points, because it depends on what artifacts drop, right? You know when you're running... The artifact could be a three-star, four-star, five-star if you're running Brutal. It could be dropping shards. It could be dropping champions. So I took an average of the two. Now, is this a big enough data set? No. Would I have had to run this thousands of times? Yes. Am I going to do that? No. What are you, an idiot? Of course I'm not going to. What I did was I just averaged the two out, came up to 1,386 points right here, same 416 energy. And then I figured out how many points it was going to take to do each of the paths to gather the items that I wanted to try to figure out what kind of math worked out. Now over here, I've got gotcha. you. Lego book, the least amount of points you can run to get the Lego book is 16,450. Five-star chicken, 16,200. 
you want the sacred shard, you're going to have to get 49,750 points. And God forbid you're stupid enough to go after the whole event, you're going to need 83,750 points. Now, how does this break out, you ask? Well, no problem. I got you. So if we do the sacred shard is 49,750 points, that's going to take us approximately... 14,926 energy. Again, these are not exact numbers, okay? I took the average of two runs of maxing champs in champ training, but you're gonna see the math probably isn't gonna work out no matter how you do it. If I wanna get the Lego book, 16,450 points, right? That's gonna be 4,935 energy. Five-star chicken, whole event. This is how much energy you're going to spend to get those. Again, don't even bother telling me in the comments that I don't have enough data, okay? I have enough data, enough for me. Now, what's that going to cost? Well, we can figure that out pretty easy. All we have to do is go over to the offer calculator and plug in what each thing is and then how much it costs. So, for example, let's look at the sacred shard, which is 14,926 energy. We can plug that in and we know that Plarium's retail value on that energy is $114.82. My fair value on it is $51.67. So that means for a sacred shard, which we already know Plarium is out of their freaking mind when it comes to buying, a sacred shard. They already want to get like $25 a sacred shard. The average person is probably crazy enough to spend eight to $15, depending on where you lie. They're basically saying that you need to spend $51 to get it. You're like, but that doesn't account for all the other stuff I got along the way. Don't worry. I got you. We'll check that math out in a minute. Now, what if we do one of the other ones? Well, you can see I went down through. Lego book, retail cost, $8. You're going to have to spend $37 in energy to get that Lego book. At retail, fair value, $17.08. So basically, I'm paying double in order to get it. Now, you're like, but you're training up champs along the way. You're also getting some silver. Yo, that's malarkey, man. I'm not doing that much. And to get these rewards is definitely not worth it. If we look at the five-star chicken, it's just as bad at $16.82. And if we do the whole event, it's $86.98 fair value. If I were to buy everything in the event, every single item in the event, it would be $86.98. Well, what is every item in the event worth? Well, I'm glad you asked. We can easily come over to the offer calculator right here, and I have plugged it all in. Now, I've got all the normal stuff in the offer calculator over here, right? And I also have things like rank charms, rarity charms, core hammers, ores. So I've broken down everything that you're going to get out of this at the end of the day, right? What does that say the retail value is? $82. Fair price would be $36.98. That's if I got Every single item on the entire map, 400k silver, 225 energy, a day of XP, 20 brews, 65 gems, two rare tomes, epic tome, legendary tome, all the shards, all the chickens, everything that's in it is only worth about $36.98 of your money, right? And Plarium is saying, well, you know, if you do the whole event, you could spend $86 worth of energy to get that same $36 value. What? Where are they coming up with these numbers? This is the most ridiculous idea I have ever seen. The most ridiculous idea. And that does not even come close to talking about the fact that we have a personal reward, CVC, that starts the day after this event ends. And then right after that is a fusion for a champion that's going to get players way further than it would any of this is ever going to get them. Because the truth is, you could spend all of that energy, 86 bucks in energy, 
to get yourself all the way down to that sacred shard and that void shard and that and that ancient shard and get nothing but a bunch of chickens. Now, I don't know about you, but that upside just isn't worth it for me. There's no way that I think anyone in their right mind should be going for this. What do I think you should be doing? Well, you should be doing exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing my normal stuff. I'm doing some champ training because there's always training that can be done, right? So with your spare energy that you have laying around and stuff like that, do some champ training. If you got some dungeons that you want to run, run them, but don't put anything extra into anything. Don't pick what you're going to do either. You can see I didn't grab anything yet, right? I'm just collecting points. Once the four days is over and I'm to the point where I'm pretty confident in what I can afford to get out of this, then go back and pick what path you're going to choose to get stuff out of this. Because the truth is, if you start going down one of these paths only to find out that you can't get what you need out of it, you're just screwed. Now you just spend all that energy for literally no reason. I don't know what Plarian was thinking on this. I, I, I just, it, it boggles the mind sometimes as to what they are thinking. There's no good reason for anyone to run this. Might be a hot take. Maybe you see it different. If you do, let me know in the comments down below. If you agree with me, just give me a smiley face down there or something like that. But guys, that's about all I have for this one. I do want to thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. If you did like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Well, hopefully not like this, because hopefully we never see another event like this. But of course, do subscribe to the channel. It really does mean the world to me. And of course, as always, until next time, be good.